Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Today's video is part two in our making do meals of the week where we have decided not to do a big shop at all and we have to eat everything in our fridge freezer before we do like a big food shop. There's a couple of caveats to this. The caveats are if we run out of things like fresh fruit and veg we can buy them because we're always eating fresh fruits and veg yeah. with our dinner to snack on and things like that. And if there's like a main ingredient for a meal that we really want to make and we don't have it, we'll go get that. But otherwise we're just like not doing a weekly shop at the moment and we haven't been doing it for like two, three weeks. Mm. And so this week or last week alone, we said we saved about 40 to 60 pounds and the same the week before. Yeah. So already over a hundred pounds we have that we probably would have spent randomly on food. Good, isn't it? Yeah, Is that that's so uh... good. <laughs> so it's really, really good. So today is part two. Uh, we're going to be showing you meals throughout the week that we're making from the fridge freezer. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe because it's gonna be a long running series and we're gonna be doing lots of other bits. <laughs> right, today's dinner, tonight's dinner, we are having, so yesterday, we had a Sunday roast. Here are the leftovers from the Sunday roast. I don't know if you, um, I'll show you right now actually. Showed you in our freezer, we've got lots of, well, a few of these. Basically at Christmas time, our local butcher was um, selling chunks of turkey meat, like cut down from turkey. Kind of a, yeah. Like a rolled crown. Yeah. And then we could buy the whole thing or we could buy a few of them and he would chop them up for us and vacuum pack them and we put them in the freezer. Yeah, throughout the year, to eat throughout the year. So we took one out the other day, defrosted it and had it over the weekend. Oh, he loved the turkey. He had turkey, broccoli, mascarpone cheese. His was very, very smart. Um, so that's what we did at the weekend. We had roast turkey yesterday. We've got some turkey left over in this. Mm. Um, in this thing, so this is going to make two meals. So we're gonna take the turkey out and have that for tonight's dinner. And then all the veg and leftover roast dinner veg um, that's in there, we're going to be for tomorrow night, we're going to be having bubble and squeak, mm. which was super popular in my, in the previous, the first part of this um, series. It's just a great way of like using up all of your roast dinner stuff. Yeah. Um, so it was really good to see how popular that was. So we're going to take the turkey off now and tonight's dinner we're having, um, like I would describe it as like a pie filling, but with rice instead of as a pie. Yeah, I mean, that's not, yeah. So we've got some onions that were left over, mushrooms, a little bit past the sell by date, but they'll be fine when we wash them. And um, we've got some leeks, which we actually bought fresh. We've got some cheese, which I'm sure has been left over. And we bought creme fresh, fresh. So um, yeah, the meal out of everything, these two are the things we've bought new and we've got rice in the cupboard. So it's gonna be a really delicious meal. Um, and yeah, let's make it. <laughs> Leftover turkey here and that'll be added to the end. So basically let's start chopping our veg that's going with it. Yummy. I am just about to make dinner. 
and it's going to be another from the freezer dinner because um, it's going really well actually we're finally working our way through I mean there's still so much in the freezer so there's gonna be like 20 parts to this series but um, it's working really well we said already this week we've probably saved how much like about 40 pound we reckon about 40 pound ready this week from not going out and buying random foods for dinners that we fancy on the time have a nice time mm -hmm. love you so much mm -hmm. Okay, love Ooh, you. Love you so, much. so going really well. We've already been saving lots of money. Tonight, I'm not feeling very well. I've got like chest pain. Not very good. <laughs> um, but it's okay. All the serious stuff it could be, it's not. So I'm just not feeling, I'm feeling a bit run down. I'm sure since becoming a mother and mixed in with the fact that COVID happens like self-isolations and lockdowns and things like that, I've been getting ill more frequently. I just want, I fancy loads of veg. I just fancy lots of veg. I know we've got veg in the freezer that we need slash want to eat. Let's look in the freezer today and see what we've got that will go with veg. Okay, we have chunks of frozen turkey from Christmas. What else do we have? Apple strudel, yum! Sausage rolls, vegan ones. This is six meat free sausages. I totally forgot we had these in the freezer. Guys, we've not even got to my batch cooking reserve yet. I've got bags of pastas, like um, chicken, Cajun, saucy pastas frozen. Okay, six meat free sausages. I've got eggs, I've got flour and I've got milk. Do you know what I'm gonna try and attempt to make for tonight? Toad in the hole with loads of veggies and gravy. It's four o'clock, can I manage it? Sausages um, are sizzling, so you pre-cook the sausages. You need a um, tin if you want to make toad in the hole. A square tin is so much better. I've only got a loaf tin, so we're really cutting it fine with how much this is going to work. Um, and you need to put some oil in there. To make the mixture, you just need three eggs, a small cup of plain flour, and a small cup of milk. Um, you can use plant-based milk but use, make sure you use like around the same amount. So you want it like a thick pancake batter. And yeah, that's um, kind of it. So I'm gonna cook the sausages for a while and then we're gonna try and make toad in the hole. Having vegan toad in the hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew you'd react like that. <laughs> well, veggie, so vegan sausages toad in the hole, but obviously the mixture's got eggs in. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Aren't nice. you so excited? So excited. Hello. <laughs> that was a really quick smile. <laughs>
for dinner that is straight from the freezer and the fridge. Yeah, that's like, yeah, it's, yeah making the best of what we got. That's making the best of what we got. It's yeah. turned out so good. We haven't had yeah. toad in the hole for like, I'd say a couple of years now. Yeah, and we've been talking about it. Yeah. Um, and it's so easy, honestly, it's easier than you think. I like those sausages. Yeah, they were nice, I, I seem to remember. They're really like more peppery than I remember. Mm. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, Sainsbury's vegan ones, which were very good. I, I think this is my favourite freezer thrown together meal so far. And had we not been doing this video, we would not have had this. No, we wouldn't. We would have got to a point where we maybe even had to have thrown those sausages out. Hmm. Huh? Because we just looked at them and thought, mm. Mm. they've been in there for about 10 years. Mm. Brilliant and lovely gravy, by the way. Mm. Um, yeah, so it would be completely vegan if the um, thing you didn't have eggs in, but I don't know how to make it without eggs. Yeah, and you know. Mm. Mm. Today we are having, well, as we're doing most days, pretty much, we're having a make-do dinner meal. I did actually go shopping today. I didn't buy too much, um, but it was kind of like a necessity shop. Bought a Greek yogurt, a massive one, because Warren has that. To be fair, I should not have bought this because this is not part of my making do style meals at the moment, but I really wanted to try it. It's the sticky lemon sponge pudding from the plant menu range in Aldi. Some hummus and some salad, so, and a broccoli. So just fresh things that we absolutely need to eat. Um, obviously, Oren really isn't included in this uh, making do week. I wouldn't just make him make do. But um, loads and loads of his meals, what I do is I batch cook like in the slow cooker, oven, things like that. And then I freeze into portions. So most of his meals are just sitting in the freezer anyway. Still looking pretty messy, but there's not actually too much food in there now. There's a lot of condiments, as you can see actually, <laughs> and some fruits and yogurt and cream and things like that. But there's not actually, lots of food in there now, which is good. So we're like really reducing what's in the fridge, kind of cutting everything back because things go out of date so quickly, especially when we're buying food constantly. Yeah, so this is the fridge at the moment. So we have the top level, the unopened jars of stuff, off eaten fruits, which I mean, that needs to go in the compost now, um, and cream. And then we've got like the plant-based milks, um, oh, we've got mascarpone, I forgot about. We could do something with that this week. Pineapple, cheese, and some more yogurt. And then we have some veggies. So I'm thinking, let's look in the freezer first. Oh, by the way, Aaron made a drawing, but yeah, that's one of his mess-free paintings. It's so nice having it on the fridge. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Exhibit A, lasagna. The thing is we have enough lasagna for one portion. This is homemade lasagna that's beef, but we also have, oh, not many chips. Oh, we've got chips back here. Cool. Okay, lasagna and chips, and more, oh no, they're hash browns. Um, what on earth is that? Bone marrow sauce, Heston Blumenthal Waitrose. To be fair, this stuff is really good for you. So I'm gonna make something with that. And we've also got a plant menu lasagna. Is that a bit close? Probably a bit too close to my face. Um, which I found in the yellow label section, M&S, reduced. So vegan lasagna, how many people does it serve? Serves one. This pack provides one portion quite big so it looks like we're having a vegan and a beef lasagna together sorry to all the vegans out there um but i'm looking forward to trying this so i think lasagna chips and salad that sounds good this product contains alcohol probably red wine is that gonna work how shall we cook yours then Angular one, maybe. Where is that? Uh, top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> gonna be all right. Um... Preheat oven, remove sleeve and film. Place on a preheated baking tray. This looks nice. The m and vegan one. I'll be That's happy with that yeah. one, actually. Yeah, I like the, the roasted vegetables I've got on top. In they go. I'm actually really looking forward to tonight's dinner. We never have lasagna until you make it. And making it is such a, like, a big deal. <laughs> it's it's like an all-day Saturday <laughs> type thing because, like, Lawrence really goes overboard with it, which is great. I think if you're going to do it, you've got to do it, right? Got to do it properly. Um... So it's really good that we managed to save a portion in there and it's good that I managed to randomly buy this one day. Vegan lasagna. Yummo. And then we've got chips with it. That should be enough, yeah? Yeah, well that's they're your ones. No. Shut up. Shit. Yeah. These, these are like some... Yeah, because we're doing, um, God, there's not many left. No, there's never enough in those. No, these they ones. They are unreal though. Yeah, because we're using everything up in the freezer. We can make um, chips and we normally do. Um, we're trying to use everything in the freezer. So let's use the leftover chips that we have. There's not too many, I have to say. It's quite upsetting. Oh, you're being cheeky. Uh, you are. I'm raiding uh, the cat. I'm ra raiding the cat cupboard. Uh, you can't raid the cat cupboard. But I want some. I want some salmon with gravy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. This. So this is our homemade one. Yeah, we just remembered it's got goat's cheese on it. It's actually blooming delicious. Lawrence is gonna have that one. Yeah. I'm gonna have this one, the vegan one. Yeah. It's yeah. so garlicky. I just like dipped the fork in there to check and licked the fork. It looks really good. It looks really good, doesn't it? Any really salad we've got that needs eating right now, which we're going to eat right now, is um, lettuce and tomatoes. We do also have like a bag of mixed salad that I picked up today, but I'm gonna save that. And a bit of coleslaw. Oh yeah, and the like four chips we have. So let's put it all together. First of all, we wouldn't have had this if we just didn't start this challenge because we would have kept buying stuff that we wanted True. rather than remembering what's in the freezer and having what's in the freezer. Mm. So shall we try the um, vegan lasagna? Oh yeah, can I have a bit? Yeah. I'm gonna, a bit I want like to try the bit. Stuff. Yeah, I want a bit of the meat, but I also want a bit of the topping because that's the bit that intrigues me. Oh yeah, let me put it there. I think that's absolutely delicious. That's really good. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It... <laughs> Bless you. Sorry, darling. <clears throat> it's quite light, you know? Do you, you know think? what I mean? Yeah, I suppose so, actually, compared to like a lasagna lasagna. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's very... Um... It is so garlicky, mm. like, so um, rich. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd buy that again. Mm. It's very rare to get a, like a shop bought Oh, and leftover coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I get a shop bought um, lasagna. Yeah. Like, when you can. Do you want any of this? Mm -mm. No. More for mummy. Are you sure? Unless you're, unless you're not going to finish it. Oh, look, there's a. Yeah, uh, you can have this big bit. Making a, a vegan one, I don't know, but I've tried. I have made it with your dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that was like a chickpea one. Um, but what this. What do you do for cheese? Oh, I think we did normal white sauce, actually. <laughs> we called it vegan, though. Like, no yeah. one was actually vegan. Sounds about right. <laughs> um, <laughs> vegetarian, let's say. Anyway, mm. this is literally divine, this lasagna. Mm. If you're ever on the hunt for a really good, a like, rich, mm. Moorish, um, luxurious, I'd it get it. It is a treat. Yeah. 
Glad I found that in the freezer now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Lasagna freezes really well. It does. Good dinner, hey? Mm. Like, really good dinner. Better than just buying what we've been buying constantly. And do you know what? Easier. Mm-hmm. 